when we visited the Richmond Slave Trail in 2016, I was kind of in the middle of trying to figure out what my fourth novel was going to be. And I kind of was fooling around with a couple ideas, didn't really have anything kind of in stone. And it was just a feeling I got, I think. The curiosity of learning about Mary Lumpkin and the Lumpkin Jail and the fact that she was married to Robert Lumpkins and they had these children and they lived on a half acre, which people call the devil's half acre because the, the cruelty in which Robert showed the enslaved people uh, on the half acre, I mean, it's just, it was horrifying. And I couldn't stop picturing the children. I couldn't stop imagining what Mary Lumpkin's life was like living in those conditions. I remember when I came here and I saw what it was like to be on the land where the jail actually existed. And I tried to recreate the story in my head. And so what I do in my office is I put up a collage of different pictures. And so I had a picture of the jail. I had an idea of the kitchen, of the boarding house. The boarding house was where uh, Robert Lumpkins and my story is Ruben LaPierre. The boarding house is where he entertained um, his clients, the people who, he, who was gonna buy some of the slaves that he sold. And this is the home uh, that Phoebe and she raised five children in. It's funny because when I was reading the reviews for the book, a lot of the reviewers said that there's a lot of scenes that are difficult to read. For me, they, they were difficult to write to a degree because I have to embody the spirit of the characters. Writing is almost like being an actor. It's like I have to take on their energy and their feelings and all of that in order to put it on page. Everything with writing to me is kind of like shedding. It's like scratching out a little piece of your heart and just kind of putting it on the page. And if our ancestors could actually go through those moments, I could definitely write about it.